absolutely love medical students. I think they're the coolest people in the world, especially right before they get into medical school. <laughs> and maybe like the first week of medical school. They're like awesome. They're like so alive, their dreams are on fire. Come on, you've all seen it, right? And so the reason why I love medical students is because I think they make me a better version of myself. Okay, you have these, I mean, they're like these super curious humanitarian sponges, right? And they just follow you around, they want to know everything you know. Is that cool or what? Your own kids could care less, right? But medical students follow you around, they want to know everything from, you know, why you ordered that lab test, which makes you wonder, why did I order that lab test? You know, they want to know like every little detail and it's just super cool because when they, some of us, our spouses don't even take that much interest in us. I mean, it's kind of cool to have somebody be really interested in your every move and everything that you're ordering and why um, with your patients. So, you know, so that makes me, because, they, you know, emotions are kind of infectious, right? Because they're so curious, it makes me more curious about what I'm doing, right? And who, who's had that feeling? Like, you've got a curious medical student following you around. Does that kind of make you wonder, what am I doing? And why am I doing this, right? It's good. It's like a, you know, safety valve or something. It's good. Make sure you don't do anything too stupid. And then, you know, they're very um, inspired, especially early on, right? And, and, and they tell you, you know, they want to work at the homeless shelter and start a clinic in the middle of a poor area in Arkansas. And they have all sorts of dreams that makes you want to do the same thing. I always wanted to work in a homeless shelter and start a clinic for the poor in Arkansas, too. You know, and you start to reassess, am I really doing what I was called to do? Because these people are on fire, and it's great to just be around them, right? And the third thing, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb here. It's probably unique to me, although I think the two other women that cried yesterday might feel something like this on occasion. So when I'm with medical students and residents, and it's super cool, the first time I felt this was with this gentleman here. Can you stand up and maybe tell me? This guy started my whole speaking career. I can't even believe I'm seeing him again. So maybe, hi. <laughs> Do you want to tell people who you are? And, you know? okay. Richard Terry. Okay. And, and he took a risk on me back in, what, 2005? kind of risky. I read an article you wrote, uh -huh. and I just cold called you and said, come do grand rounds for us. And you came across the country and did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was create your ideal medical clinic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you for that. Thank you. And, um, you know, this, this is something that I felt the first time when I was speaking to his group. I never told him this. I don't need two mics. Um, <laughs> although I have a big message and I want more people to hear it. But um, so I, this is a little odd. If it's TMI, you know, like just cover your ears. Okay, when I'm speaking to medical students and residents, I have this weird feeling like I'm breastfeeding. I know it sounds really strange, but, and I have never had kids, and I don't even know what breastfeeding feels like, and, you know, half the room doesn't know either. But, <laughs> Like, I don't know, it's like this love nurturing energy. I don't know, it felt like they were all baby birds just like sitting there like this. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it was like I kind of felt high from that after that experience with his group of people there in upstate New York. I don't know if it was mutual at that time. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's just. I never had kids, so I don't know, maybe by choice, because it looks like it's hard when there's a lot of work to do when they're young. I like them when they're already talking and they can ask you intelligent questions, you have conversations, not just sit there and need stuff from you. So anyway, that's why I love medical students.